Hey, hi, and welcome. It's Megan here. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. I've gotten a lot of requests to show more of like my food and stuff like that, so I figured I'd show you guys what I'm eating today. So, if you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. So, let's get into it. It's going to be like an omelet, kind of like a kale omelet with roasted potatoes and that add a little cheese and salsa. So let's go make breakfast. I'm going to be using these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions from Trader Joe's, some feta cheese, some large eggs, some roasted verde salsa, some kale, and I'm going to be using some egg whites and then one whole egg. To season, I'll use salt, red pepper flakes, and garlic powder. Now that we've seasoned the eggs, I just stir them so they can fluff. Now I'll just spray the pan with the canola oil, and I'll also be using extra virgin olive oil. Add the potatoes first, and I just cook those a little bit for about, I would say, four-ish to five minutes. Now that they're almost done, I just move them all to one side of the pan. Now I'll be adding the kale, and I'm just gonna saute the kale on the other side of the pan with a little bit of olive oil. And I'll just let that cook for about two minutes until the kale has wilted a little bit. I just saute it and stir it around and also stir the potatoes around so they don't stick. Now I'll add the eggs that I've already stirred and fluffed. And I just add the top back to the pan to let it cook a little longer. Now that it's cooked for about two minutes, I will just get ready to flip the egg over. Now that I've flipped the egg, I will cook it for about another minute on that side and it should be ready to go. Now I'm just plating the food I'm just adding those potatoes, the egg. And of course you can mix this all together if you don't want to have the potatoes separate from the egg. I just wanted it separate today. Now I'm adding feta cheese. And then I add that salsa verde. And usually I would put it all on top, like all across, but I put it on this side just so you can see it better. So here is what I'm eating for breakfast. Now I'm gonna be using the Stoke Cold Brew and the Coffee Mate French Vanilla Creamer. I just add some ice to a mason jar. And add that Stoke Cold Brew, that coffee creamer, and then just mix it together with a straw to have my lovely iced coffee. And I like to have iced coffee during like the warmer months, so soon I'm gonna switch back to warm coffee. My breakfast was super good, and honestly, I like that I'm able to kind of change up the breakfast by maybe changing the salsa or like the sauce, or I can do like whole eggs or egg whites or mix them. Um, you can just do a lot of different things to make it taste a little different, but it's like the same ingredients. So I just like to have breakfasts like this. I'm also a very savory kind of breakfast person. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you lunch. So for lunch, we're going to be making like a caprese kind of inspired sandwich. I think that's how you say that word. <laughs> Basically, it's the sandwich that has like the mozzarella, the spinach, the basil, uh, and the tomato. So let's go make that sandwich now. I'm gonna be using the sourdough sliced bread. 
some tomatoes, fresh mozzarella cheese, and I got it sliced just to make it easier. I'm also using some spinach, some fresh basil, and some pesto. I got this one from Aldi. I also used the canola oil again, and I'll just spray a cookie sheet. And now I'll add the two pieces of sourdough bread for the sandwich. Spread on a little bit of the pesto, or a lot. <laughs> and then I just add those tomatoes. I also add the mozzarella cheese to the other side. And then I add some garlic powder and black pepper to the tomato, just for a little taste. I preheated my oven to 400, so now we're just gonna pop this part of the sandwich in the oven for about, I would say about five to 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna cut up an orange, because this is what I'm gonna be eating with my sandwich for lunch. So here's the sandwich, I'm gonna be putting it together now. I add the spinach, you could also cook it, but I feel like it wilts once you add the two pieces of the sandwich. I also added some fresh basil, and then I just popped the sandwich together. Now I'm taking the sandwich out of the um, plate. Oh, and then I add the orange, and then I put the sandwich back on the plate because I just wanted to cut it. <laughs> And now here is my lunch. It was absolutely delicious. Okay, the sandwich was really, really good. Also, I did try it one time in the air fryer, which I really liked because I didn't have to wait for the stove to heat up and stuff like that. So I really like that way, or maybe like a toaster oven if you want it to be even faster with this sandwich. You can change it up a lot too by adding like maybe chicken one day or adding uh, like other vegetables, like maybe like sun-dried tomatoes or something like that instead of the regular tomato. And also you could change up the bread. And you can also add, I guess, like turkey breast. I really like how versatile that this meal can be as well. So on the side, I had it with an orange. You can also change it up, have it with like a side salad. I did have that last week, so yeah, super fun, easy way to change up the meal. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I ate for dinner. So dinner, I'm, if you guys are not new to my channel, you know I'm like obsessed with Chipotle. I love it. I just feel like it's super easy and they're always consistent. So I really like it. So I had recently started making like Chipotle burrito bowls at home and I've really been enjoying it. So I wanted to share with you guys how I do that. It doesn't taste exactly like Chipotle, but it's really good. So let's go make it. I'll be using some Tyson chicken breast strips, some basmati rice, some green leaf lettuce, some daisy sour cream, some extra hot salsa, some salsa verde, some cilantro, tomatoes, an onion, a red one, jalapeno peppers, lemons, even though I really want to use limes, and some Mexican style cheese. So first, we're gonna start making the pico de gallo. So I'm just cutting up a tomato right now. I'm actually horrible at cutting up stuff, so please don't judge me, but here are the huge chunks of tomato that I'm doing. I also cut up the red onion for the pico de gallo. Again, not the best chopper, so just ignore that. And I'm just adding that red onion to the bowl that I put the tomatoes in. Now I'm cutting the jalapeno pepper. And honestly, I was struggling to get the seeds out, so I think I left some of them in. I just did my best, you guys. Chopping is not like my cooking forte. <laughs> now I'm just going to be chopping the cilantro. And I love cilantro, so I used the whole, I guess, the whole thing of cilantro. I guess it's a bush. So now I'm squeezing the lemons in there. Um, I did have a hard time with the seeds, so I just used a strainer to make sure I didn't get the seeds into the mixture. 
And now you just mix that all up together and then I'll let it sit in my fridge for about 20 minutes while I cook the rest of the meal. So now I'm just seasoning my chicken. I used a steak seasoning that I got from Target. Now I'll just spray the pan with that same canola oil spray and add the chicken to the pan. Just spread it out to flatten it to make sure it cooks evenly. And then I add some olive oil and some more of that steak seasoning to make sure it's fully coated. I cooked the chicken for about, I think it was about 12-ish minutes total. One of them has the rice. I just cooked it like the instructions on the bag. And then I added some cilantro to it at the end. And then in the other pot, I have black and pinto beans which are just from the can. I just mixed them up together. Now I'm just going to be plating the bowl. So I added that rice. As you can see, it's got a little green stuff. That's the cilantro. There's the mixture of the black and pinto beans. Again, I just cooked those like the instructions on the containers. Um, there's the chicken that I made. I cut up some of that green leaf lettuce. I added some of my pico, which was actually delicious. Now I'm adding that Mexican style cheese that I got from Trader Joe's, that hot salsa, some salsa verde. And finally we top it off with a dollop of Daisy. <laughs> so here is my finished bowl. I love the way it looks and it's absolutely delicious. All right, so I just, the bowl was delicious as always. I definitely recommend like the pico. The last few times I made it, I used like a pico that I didn't make myself and I just feel like making it yourself is a lot more fresh. Also, use limes instead of lemons. Actually, the, with the lemon, I'm not gonna even gonna lie, the, le the lemon one was really good, but you're supposed to make pico with limes. I'm not really a good recipe follower, which is why I didn't use recipes for this. I kind of just like, these were things that I've had before and then I just kind of looked up the ingredients that are in like, caprese sandwich or in like pico and then I just made it myself um, but definitely you can follow a recipe if you'd like and I like that I can change it up again and add meat or do it with no meat I could do it with steak instead of chicken so it was just really fun to change it up I could also add like other veggies like corn or peppers and stuff because I sometimes do that at Chipotle I just most of the time these are the items that I get for dessert, I'm eating the vegan cookies and cream vanilla bean bonbons from Trader Joe's. This is what they look like up close. They're super good and I think they're around 110 calories for each one. So that was all of the meals that I ate today. Um, I'm filming like the little in-between clips all at like the end of the day just because I looked a hot mess like for breakfast and lunch. So um, <laughs> that's why this section is all filmed at the same time. Yeah, everything was really good. I like um, these kind of meals and kind of like not restricting myself because it makes me enjoy my food more and I'm full, but also I eat less snacks. So today I actually didn't eat that many snacks, which I'm super proud of because sometimes I'm a crazy person who will go get like a large order of fries from McDonald's and eat it as a snack or eat like a whole bag of chips, like so. The fact that I didn't want to do stuff like that today means the meals were very satisfying, so I think that that works a lot better for me. But of course, if you like to snack, go ahead and do that. <laughs> but yes, I also want to mention, I don't have any like dietary like restrictions or anything like that. I do know two of the meals were, I guess, vegetarian vibes. Um, I do eat a lot of stuff without meat just because I feel better personally when I don't eat meat every single day for every meal. Um, but that's like, you know, a personal preference. It isn't like I'm going vegan or I'm a vegetarian or something like that. Nothing like that. Um, I just am a big steak person. I really like like chicken wings and those aren't like the healthiest meats. So um, I usually just try to cut back on meat a lot. I really enjoyed the meals. Let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna try any of the meals or if you do try them. Let me know or tag me on Instagram so at Tolly Megan. I love to see when you guys retag me in like different meals and stuff or grocery hauls. I love it. So yeah, that was it for this video. Definitely like and let me know if you enjoy these type of videos and I can do more of them. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.